Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel where we sometimes also play VR. <laughs> uh, this is a game that I wanted to, to check out. It, it uh, got released recently. Uh, it's a game about exploring Iceland, uh, or at least a certain place in Iceland that is called Mirdal Sandur. Um, it's super desolate looking. It looks kind of like uh, I don't know, like in your if you're in a some fantasy game, right? In like fantasy game land. <laughs> it looks awesome, uh, especially in 3D. It is available for uh, 2D play as well. It co it's free in uh, 2D, and for the VR version, you you pay like four bucks. So I don't think it's uh, expensive or anything. Um, and what's also kind of interesting about it is that they kind of took real photo assets or something like that because it looks kind of realistic from my point of view. And it's also made in uh, Unreal Engine, if that's. Uh, interesting to you guys so there was a camera there I, I took it uh, sorry I didn't record that one and basically if you squeeze your hands like this you can make a frame which is kind of tricky to be honest with you I'll probably oh I see all right now it's kind of easy all right uh, this one was a good one I don't like this one Okay, oh, too much exposure. I guess I'll just continue going on. Ooh, misty. And I'm pretty sure the 2D version looks better than, than the VR version, just because it's uh, technically easier to, to run. But let me tell you, this, this fog here, it feels so realistic, man. Once you start kind of like w walking around this place, you start just just feeling you like you're there. It's amazing. Uh, just quickly want to lower my sensitivity for the chaperone bounce, just because this is not a super intensive game. So I can actually walk around stuff a bit more. Uh, let's explore more. Heavily projecting here, this area. Wow. Now oh, that's a rock. Man, I'm like, I'm almost two meters high. I'm like one, one meter 93. In American units, that's kind of like six foot four, maybe. Six foot four to approaching six foot five, maybe even. And this thing is like double my height, almost. At least in VR. I'm pretty sure you know, on the screen it wouldn't really look like it. But it kind of feels like you're there instantly. It's, man, I got lost in this fog. I can actually climb, right? No? Oh, that's uh, that's a pity. What do we have here? The other project of contributors. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's the same person that made the the Kyoto exploration in VR and basically in 2D as well. Uh, it's also super realistic and I think I'll, I'll be doing a quick uh, preview on that as well at some point just because it looked awesome but right now we are doing Iceland Do you have anything here? Any hidden message? No? Oh man That's a, that's a cool tribute though I like it So where are we going? Uh, why are we still here? Just to suffer. Now I'm on top of the rock. <laughs> oh shit, I'm in the rock. I'm in the rock. I became the rock. Man, this rock. Woo! That's some... Some crazy stuff. Just, just the the texture of it, like uh, it kind of looks closer to reality than than you would usually get with uh, VR games, and that's that's what's kind of tripping me right now. Okay, I think that was the bound. Uh, let's go the other way. Am I going the other way? I think I am. 
I want to see if I can find cool perspectives to take like good shots, you know? Like this one kind of looks pretty cool. Yeah, that one, that's a cool one. You gotta say. Okay, I'm kind of like at the edge of this room here. So this is kind of like my play space. If somebody's interested. Uh, there's plenty actually. But uh, the way VR works, you always actually need more. So I kind of feel it's too little. <laughs> okay. I know there was, uh, yeah, there's like the a watery area here. I wanted to see what's up with this area here. It, this this view kind of that looks awesome. I wonder if I can actually go there. Like, can I go there? I can. Holy fuck! How far can I go? starts feeling lonely like just just standing standing here basically like this and just looking around it's like nothing Ooh, water I wonder if this is the yes this is the edge okay let's continue on And as you can see, there are plenty of glitches happening, but I don't think that's uh, like a deal breaker. Oh, the green area. Now, this gives me Death Stranding vibes. I don't know what, what's up with that, but, but I think like the green, the green patches and everything here definitely starts giving me this uh, Death Stranding vibe. That was actually a pretty cool opportunity to do a picture, I think. Somewhere around here. Like there, maybe. Maybe there. Maybe there. Maybe later. I don't see it anymore. Oh no! Don't tell me there's an edge there. Oh. Uh... Maybe I'm supposed to kind of follow the path. Okay. Looks cool. There is something there. Okay, what is this? Uh, what do I do with it? This? No? Sorry? Oh, that was disorienting. Um, I think this kind of shows me that there are like multiple things I can see. Like this one. Oh, this looks so cool. I've seen this guy. I think I've seen this guy. This was at the edge. This one looks awesome. I've seen this one. This one also looks pretty cool. And there is a key there. I'm not sure, like, what am I looking at? Movement tutorial. Settings. I don't think this is anything. Yeah, I don't think I can access this. Like, I don't see an option to do this. Like, nothing. So... And I can see there is a need for key, right? So I need to find a key. Oh, I see now. So there is a puzzle for me. And the puzzle tells me that I have to kind of, and I can kind of see, okay, I get it, I think. Um, things that are green. I haven't seen? No. There's something else. Uh, 
Maybe there is a key in each of those locations. Now that would be a lot. Uh, but I think at least since we are here, we should uh, go try and find something there. So it's kind of like, kind of reminds me of the the puzzle that puzzle from Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody who hasn't played the game yet because it's an amazing game. But I think it was kind of like here, right? And I am kind of kind of blind, gotta tell you. Um, hoping to to see what they wanted me to see, but it may be that I just miss it. <laughs> Let's see. So there was this thing here, like what was this perspective, like from to the left of this thing. Maybe we find a key somewhere, like on the ground. Oh, I see. I see, I have to do this, I'm almost certain, I have to do this, whoop, and I think our frame is perfect, yes, I heard this one, so let's go and see what happened, and uh, of course I'll have to take pictures of all of those, yes, um, this one, I know where it is. This one, I know where it is. This one, I know where it is. Ah, uh, these guys, like this one, I know. This one, no idea. Looks cool. Let's go. Oh, fuck. I am in the ground. I became a groundhog. Or, I don't know, it's... <laughs> I know if groundhogs uh, are actually living in the ground or not, or not but... What's a, what's a cool name? That fits the description of what happened to me. So I know I have to take a picture somewhere like this. I mean, not, not this, but I think it was the other perspective, like from the other way, like from that way. But I'll still take a picture because I think this kind of looks cool. Uh, maybe just kind of step back, relax. Uh, all right. Oh fuck, this can, can get way bigger than I thought. Okay, uh... Okay, so we know the perspective that we wanted to actually see getting pictured was something like this I feel like and they didn't they didn't say well I didn't got the I didn't get the the signal so I, I guess it, it wasn't the right angle maybe it from here no hmm I at least know the other ones. And I don't think I'm gonna play the whole game, guys, just because, well, at least not on video, because I don't wanna spoil you, uh, spoil it for everybody. I, I think it's worth kinda playing it yourself as well. And of course, there is no mountain to be seen here, so I'm, I'm kinda doubtful we get anything Oops, not not this one. Okay. Very very misty. Very not not much to be seen there. Uh what's here I think? Somewhere to the left. Oh shit. I think I see the mountain. Oh shit. Is there a path? Oh, I see it. This guy. Let's see if we get the... Ooh. Okay, having trouble doing it again. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. 
Why? Okay, I got that. T -t 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 so this was definitely the second clue. And I know there was this weird uh, rock into the distance. It's basically almost at the corner of the map. And I can definitely see an outline. Which is probably the mountains in the, in the distance. Oh man, I am getting lost. I'm fully lost. Oh there. No? Shit. Let's try again. And I know it was kind of like... After... Yeah, it was in this direction. After, after this one. Okay, uh, let's see, how far am I? Okay, uh, it was basically in this direction. I went to this rock here, and I just kind of continued, I think, this way. But I cannot see basically shit. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of scary even. Do I see it? It definitely was not this rock. It was this this weird coward rock? I'm not even sure if it was here, to be honest with you. So maybe that's why I don't see it anywhere here. Yep. Um, I actually wanna actually wanna picture the. Like, take a photo of the mountain, like that was in the distance. That looked pretty nice. And uh, this team with taking pictures, I, I believe <coughs> the, the Kyoto game also had something similar. At least the taking pictures was definitely there. Uh, so let's go right this time around. Let's see what we find here. It's getting a little bit less misty. Oh my god. It is amazing. It is amazing. Wow. Whoa. One more. Yes. It is amazing. Let's go check check out the whole thing from like Oh no, it's getting misty again. But what do you know? I found another path. And I think I will find some of the other places that we had to find. Let's see. Let's actually unlock the first uh, part. I think there is more to the game. I definitely won't spoil the whole thing by unlocking the first part, I hope. And it kind of looks like... Oh, fuck. I'm climbing now, eh? Wow, this looks pretty nice. Uh, something like this. No. Uh, let's go back there. We're actually there. Yeah. I want to take this moment to appreciate the cool perspective like something like this maybe even like this kind of looks cool not on the picture though <laughs> I don't <laughs> think the pictures turn out as good as I imagined them uh, but it looks very much awesome in real life Okay. What do we have here? I think this would be the icy area. And I'm kinda, okay, oh. This looks awesome. Let's come back around and try and picture that one. Mm-hmm. Just keep the frame, please. 
He just doesn't want to kill the frame. Uh, we're doing this. Actually, I don't think we need. Yeah, we do need that. Oh man. All right. Uh, something like this. Okay. Wow, that looks pretty awesome. That looked pretty awesome. And again, like look at look at. Like this is more than two meters in, in height. This is like two meters thirty in height, like in real height. And I actually wanted now I kinda remember. Uh where is the height offset? Alright. That's why I kinda feel small. There is a uh, there is a height offset. And I definitely had to do this, yeah. Now well I still feel very small compared to these rocks. But they at least don't feel... They still feel pretty ginormous, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's continue going. We're hiking upwards. And... We have reached something pretty nice. Oh, fuck, this looks amazing. Gotta take the shot. Oh, no, come on. Wow. Uh... Wow. 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 Awesome. Now this looks awesome. Um, it is not as 3D as you would probably think it would be while watching uh, from a 2D screen, but it still is nice. I mean, I guess they couldn't really model everything, but this one, like still in the distance, it kind of looks pretty awesome. With the icy areas and the peaks there in the distance. Oh, that looks pretty awesome. Okay. Um, another opportunity for a cool shot. Maybe if I actually have it straight this time around. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Little less fog. That's too much fog. Now. All right. I think that will be it. That's pretty awesome. And I tried playing with um, smooth locomotion. Problem is the game is kind of unstable. Sometimes it runs at 90 FPS. Sometimes it definitely starts dipping a lot. Um, so, just because of that, I decided to just stick with teleportation. You can try it yourself if you want. Uh, maybe you, you, you get a better video card. Uh, I'm using a 10, 1080 right now. Uh, ooh, yes. This peak, and of course it was part of the, probably from the other side, but it looks awesome. Maybe from here, right? Yeah! That is gorgeous. Let me just kinda crouch a bit. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! That is a good picture. Quality picture. Woo! Now that was, I think, unexpected. And I'm pretty sure the had the developer didn't want me to be there or here oh my god i'm actually on this rock now it feels kind of kind of like you know when you're on the top of something pretty high that's exactly how it how that feels or here they just parkour it as you can see textures are not even modeled there so i'm pretty sure it, it was not meant for me to be <laughs> be here but oh uh, let's let's not completely break the game now all right fuck i'm i almost broke the game eh what is this okay it's just water i remember this one so i'm pretty sure i have to take a picture of this place which also looks amazing oh no do not clear up why are you so clear now Mm. 
Okay. Actually, it looks awesome. Okay. That's this water creek. And I'm pretty sure. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. Yes, that one looks awesome. I know about this there. But I think, yes, I do think I am on top of the waterfall. That's a nice circle. So, what are we, what do I still have left? Let's see, I don't think we only have a few of them left now. So these ones, I guess I just didn't take the picture from the right perspective. This one, kind of hard to find, and these guys, like this one. Where were you? I think it was like at the beginning of the green part. So it should have been like, I remember seeing the rock for sure. Like, let's just go this way. There it is. I remember seeing this rock. I just don't remember which perspective. I think it was like this perspective. Pretty sure it was this perspective. And like something like this. No? Come on. No. I'm pretty sure it's not that sensitive. Uh, let's quickly go there. I want to see why it didn't like this option. Uh, I guess I cannot wander off that way. Let's see. It was definitely this rock. Maybe not. But there is another rock behind it on the left, right? That's, that's the key to this shot. Yes. That looks dope. So at least I know the yellow one, let's go get it. And I think that, yeah, the one that we never actually tried was at the very beginning of the game. So it's kind of like a shot from here, what I remember exactly, exactly this perspective. Uh, let's go check it out then. There was, I, I cannot even recollect how, how this thing looked like was basically beginning of the grass fields area, right? It's basically telling me, yeah, you're entering the grass area there. Something like this area there. Maybe, maybe this. Exactly. So we only have one left. I just don't get it. I'm pretty sure it's the rock there. Like the very first rock that we saw. Maybe there is something that I'm missing here, but I don't think so. Like there is no path. Maybe explore this direction. But man, this whole thing just looks awesome. Like look at these rocks. There is no collision or anything, but they still look pretty awesome, like pretty real. is this place whoa there's a lot of water okay let's go hunt this last rock uh, picture I guess <laughs> I'm not sure maybe Although it kind of looked like it. Oh, 
No. It was definitely... Was it the other way around? No. It was definitely not the other way around. Let's go... This way. This is too much to the side. Pretty sure... It, oh! It was! Alright. Now we actually unlocked the next area. So let's go see and... Yeah, I'm curious what, what we get. It's basically a map of the whole site. It's the icy area, the green area. I'm pretty sure it's awesome to actually just visit in real life, right? I'm curious if this person, like, had to come here and uh, collect the photo data, like the real photos to map this or if, yeah at least someone had to do it right so I could imagine this being a pretty cool adventure just on its own yes even mistier oh shit this looks awesome dude Wow, that is a cool ass shot. Yeah, what up, dude? That is a cool ass shot. I don't have any more controls. Whoa. It's like super dark. Super, super dark. I'm not sure if the game bugged or it's, it's just basically the time of the day. Wow. All right. Well, I am not sure what's up ahead and I just don't want to spoil it for anybody trying to play it on their own so i think i'm just gonna end this preview of the game or just kind of like a playthrough of some of the game here but man this looks amazing this whole experience i would definitely put it on my list to visit one day like in real life and i think that's one of the cool things about vr it definitely gives you a perspective of things that could be and like how how you could feel when you're there and do this, do the things. Uh, especially for people just kind of like curious about traveling and exploring the world, exploring different worlds, even like ideas, like I don't know, like the next the next one, the next video I'll, I'll be doing is kind of aching to that. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But yeah, for people that are into traveling, I think this is a very cool way to actually uh, pick your destinations and kind of like have for, first, first sights, uh, first, kind of like peek at, at the things that you you might want to be doing and just kind of experience them beforehand um or just maybe find cool destinations to visit right so that was the game called Mirdal Sandur Iceland like I said four bucks for the VR version and for free for the 2D version so go check it out if you like it was an awesome experience and I'm definitely going to finish it on my own. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, maybe like the video if you like the, the, the game style and the video itself. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.